yeah, Sunday, Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, the real Super Bowl Sunday, yes, he is risen, good morning, happy Sunday, happy Easter, happy Easter, uh, listen, this is going to be a short one, today is uh, the true Super Bowl, the Super Bowl of all Super Bowls, he is risen, the tomb is empty, I wanted to jump on quick, and I actually even prepared a little bit. I wrote down some things, so I'm going to get right into it. We celebrate Easter, obviously, worship, not just the Easter bunnies, not just the Cadbury cream eggs, not just the peeps, not just so you can get dressed up in your Sunday bests, right? It's about the celebration of Jesus coming back, coming back to life. How amazing is that? And listen, um... I wish I could do it. I'm not a pastor. And I could, to be honest with you, I've been really only walking on this earth for 48 years. And many of you probably know, uh, know about Easter and know all of the stories in the Bible way better than me. Um, but I know I came into a relationship with the Lord back into a relationship about 10 years ago. And, uh, you know, I used to celebrate all of the, the great things about Easter and the holiday and celebrations and good morning to you. And I want you to celebrate all of those good things, but not to forget. And here's, here's some reasons. I actually wrote down 15 reasons. So I'm going to rattle them off aside from worshiping an eternally perfect God who separated himself from every other thing, choosing to give up his own rights in life to restore and save the rights and the lives of his creation, which is you and me. And uh, that's that's pretty darn valuable, isn't it? If you could think, if you don't feel you're valuable, think of Jesus went to the cross for you and for me and for all of us. And I want to share with you 15 reasons. Let's get into 15 reasons. If you got a minute, grab your coffee. If you're catching the replay, let me know in the replay. If you're celebrating Easter, let's just celebrate and say, Happy Easter. He is risen. He is risen. He is risen. Amen. The tomb is empty. The tomb is empty. Oh, so amazing. So 15 reasons why we, I say we as Christians celebrate Easter and maybe you don't and you don't know why. And I'm going to share with you 15 because Easter represents the moment of God's only son. Jesus took on the death sentence, served the term and called it finished. Can I get an amen? He took on the darkest evils of the world through the worst possible death. And just in case you decide to believe in him 2000 years later, amen. All right. Number two, because I thought I was smart enough good enough, caring enough, strong enough, right? To be a father, a son, a husband, employee, brother, caretaker of planet. But I and you constantly fall short. We fall short. I fall short. I even feel like I fall short. I may feel fall short in doing this justice on Easter Sunday on the Super Bowl of all Super Bowls. But I'm going to do it anyway because I know he loves me and he gives me <laughs> forgiveness so number three, because the sting of our failure, the sting of failure, and I, I don't know if you felt the sting of failure. I have uh, to uh, the sting of failure. Sorry, got to turn down the tune. The sting of our failure to perfectly follow God and his laws was swallowed up by the victory of Christ's empty tomb, right? Like, I wish we could have, say, yes, I'm perfect. I'm a perfect Christian. There isn't anybody perfect except the one that we're celebrating today, right? Amen. So because our God, number, I think four, or maybe five, four, because our God carried out his plan to give up what he deserved to give us back what we never earned and deserved to lose. Because without East, our savior is dead in a grave, but with him, our human failings, our failings, your failings, my failings, everyone's failings are dead in his grave. They're dead in his grave. Oh, that's so reassuring. Gives me like, I have a sweater on, but if you saw my skin underneath it, you'd see the goosebumps. Because Jesus, next one, because Jesus himself said it was the day he'd be glorified. Uh, you want to look that up in chapter, that's in John chapter 12, 23 through 25. Because when we find our lives at a dark, dead end, Jesus has already been there. And he's gone ahead of us to make another way. Right? Have you ever felt like you've been down at a dark, dead end? I sure have many times before. And today, fortunately, is not one of them. But I don't know if you felt me, uh, if, if you feel what I'm saying. Maybe the dark, dead end is coming for you. And uh, I just want to share with you that Jesus has already been there. And he's gone ahead of us. And he's made another way. 
because we killed our God who came to earth as a perfect man. Three days before his perfect father, our creator raised him back to life, right? That's just amazing. Can you imagine if you're one? Now I know the four women that went and, and saw that the tomb was empty. Can you imagine being the one of the first ones to go and see that the tomb is empty and Jesus is alive? Like that's crazy. That's just, just crazy to think about, isn't it? Oh my goodness. So let's go to the next one. I think we're at maybe seven or eight because because we killed our God who came to earth as a perfect man three days. Oh, I already said that one. <laughs> because the same power, I didn't number it. Probably would have helped if I numbered him. Because the same power, the Holy Spirit power that quaked the earth. When the earth quaked, right? You remember in the Bible, it quaked. That stole death from hell and made it life. That rolled away that stone and pushed back the darkness is alive to do God's work in our hearts today. God's here to do work in and through you, in and through me, in and through this dark, nasty world that we live in. And if you don't think, just think about what he did on the cross and what happened three days later. That right there, enough to know if you believe what's in the what's to be true, that's in the Bible, it's living, it's truth. Oh my goodness, today is truly the Super Bowl. All right, here we go. Now... Because we need to next one, because we need to remember that nothing amazing happens without sacrifice. Do you believe that the things that have been amazing in your life just happen? They just happen? Honestly, I can actually attest, at least in my own, in my own walk, in my own journey in this life, is that the most amazing things that have happened in my life typically have happened after sacrifice. Not saying me and not like a Jesus sacrifice, but just think of how amazing to think about what happened after seeing what the sacrifice that was three days ago, right? And now like the immeasurable, like just unbelievable amazingness that happened. Now the next one, because this one day sums up reason, the reason God left heaven to enter his immeasurable creation as a tiny crying little human baby, right? To think about that, that one day, one day sums it up, the reason. And that day is today because Jesus is the hope of the world. Did you know that I'm not the hope of, of your world? You're not the hope of the world, right? People are not the hope of the world. Jesus is the hope of the world, but he's also the hope of my world. And he could potentially be the hope of your world if you let him. You want a scripture to go with that as far as the hope of the world? That would be Matthew 12, 20 and 21. I got a couple more. I believe there's one or two more. The last one's the most important because we killed the author of life. But God used Jesus' death to give us, give our story a happy ending. The good news is there is a happy ending to this story. And you know who that entails. And, and really, why do Christians, why do we celebrate Easter? In a nutshell, why do we celebrate Easter? And I hope we look beyond all of the Cadbury eggs and all of the, you know, the, the Easter baskets and all of the candy. And those are all great and enjoying time. But why do we truly celebrate Easter? because of Jesus. That's all I have. Happy Easter to you and your family. I hope it's an amazing day. I hope you enjoy all the chocolate and all the food and all the blessings of your family. I hope even if you have had a struggle year in 2020, maybe even in 2021, that today on this day, that not only that you celebrate Easter, but you don't forget that we're really celebrating it because of Jesus. You guys have an amazing blessed day. Take care. God bless.